Welcome to the third episode of FTO Academy Tutorials. Today we will look at the CoinDeal's main interface. This is the main trading panel we will see right after logging in. It can be used for trading. It has two versions, Basic and Pro. Let's look at the Basic version. In the upper left corner, we will find a search engine. It will help us with finding our favorite cryptocurrency, Futuro Coin. Here we will choose the so-called cross. It's a type of communication, e.g. from Futuro Coin to Bitcoin or from Futuro to Euro. Let's look at the second variant. The system will automatically display the chosen cross. On the left, we can see a very crucial thing. This is the transactional panel. It can be used for buying or selling Futuro coins and many other cryptocurrencies. At the bottom of this panel, we will find an option that will show us the commissions on this exchange, on the buyer's side and on the seller's side. Individual boxes describe the price that we would like to get while buying or selling Futuro coin, the amount of FTO units that we would like to buy or sell for that price. The system, after typing in these two parameters, will tally up the total value in euros. In order to confirm the transaction, we click Buy or Sell. Our attention is surely being caught by that chart in the middle of the page. We can scale it however we want and make it display minutes, hours, days or months. Underneath it, we can see the so-called order book. It's a collection of all active orders. The left side is meant for those who want to buy Futuro coin, and the right side is meant for those who want to sell it. In the upper right corners of these two order book boxes, we can see the size of transactions volume from the past 24 hours. It's the enumeration of the amount of FTO units that we've bought and sold in the last 24 hours. Underneath the order book, we can see another table. My open orders are our own ongoing orders from a certain cross, in this case, it's the Futuro coin Euro Cross. Going even lower, we can check the history of our realized transactions. Everything here is simple, clear, and intuitive. Let's go back to our ongoing orders. As we know, the market is constantly changing. If we can see that the market is moving in the direction that is opposite to our predictions and that our current orders are bringing us some loss, all we have to do is hit that cancel button. The chosen order will be automatically deleted. On the right side of the interface, we can find overall history of transactions. It's a gathering of all transactions made in the last couple of hours. Time to take a look at the Pro version. It's very easy to switch between those models. All we have to do is click that Pro button that's above the chart. Pro mode is characterized by a much more professional and complex take on the exchange. Every element of the interface is getting enriched by additional functions and options. Once again, we can see the panel for buying and selling. Underneath that, we can see the order book. The main difference here is the presence of the so-called spread, the difference in price between the most attractive buying and selling offer from the whole order book. On the right, we can once again see the history of transactions. Underneath the chart, we can look at our ongoing orders and the history of realized transactions. All that data can also be found in many different places. Let's look at the bar over the chart. My orders. Here we can check our orders, all of them. The ongoing ones from the certain cross and also those that were, that we had to prematurely close and cancel because of many different reasons. We can also find our realized transactions here. In My Transactions tab, we will only find the transactions that are already realized and fully closed. In the Markets section, we can check all available markets, just like with the search engine in the beginning. We also have an option of looking for different crosses. Our previous cross, Futuro Coin and Euro, is also present here. We also see that FTO Bitcoin cross. Wallets tab will show us all available wallets. If we want to quickly and efficiently find wallets that already hold our previous funds, all we need to do is click this box. It will immediately show us our gathered finances. That's all for this episode. This is the whole interface of CoinDeal Exchange Market. It's a clear and easy to use tool. We hope that your trading will be very fruitful. For more video tutorials, go to the official page of FTO Academy. See you.